So today what we're gonna do is demonstrate a little bit about the blowgun. A lot of people, you know, associate the uh, blowgun with the South Americans, but really the Cherokees, uh, Choctaws, Chickasaws, any agricultural tribe use the blowgun because the blowgun was really the first uh, hunting tool of the Native American children. And it wasn't really uh, a toy. I mean, uh, there would be big gardens that would be grown all over those villages. And really, they didn't have any fences. So really, it was a child's job to keep out the birds, squirrels, and rabbits. And not only, that was also a food source. So that's what they used the blowgun for. Their blowguns were really long. I mean, you know, back in the southeast where we came from, river cane there will grow, you know, anywhere from, you know, 20, you know, 20 feet. So their blowguns a lot of times will be 12 to 13 foot long. So when they shoot their blowguns in competitions, they'll shoot uh, 60 feet. And, but like us here, you know, we shoot 45. Because our, our biggest blowguns probably 10 foot, maybe 11. And so a lot of people don't realize though, the longer the blowgun is, the harder it shoots. A lot of people will tell you it's more accurate, but that's really not the case. We used to have blowgun shoots every year. We have them on Cherokee holiday. And we'd have guy, you know, I have a guy or a boy or something, he'd come up, you know, and say, boy, I like buying one of them blowguns, you know? So I sell him, you know, just a small one to start out with. And then as he grows, it'll get bigger. The gun will get bigger. And then before long, he's shooting with us, you know? And, that, and that's really exciting. And, it's really, it is rewarding. I think the, the blowgun or, or basket making or um, any of, any of the, the Indian cultures, when people do it, they, they feel it. You know, well, my grandma, you know, did this or, or so. I think the blowgun's the same way. It, it gives you a connection, you know, with the, with the way that they went through life. Because, you know, a lot of times the blowgun was, you know, how somebody fed their family, you know, in, in the earlier times. And so, but, that was the deal about the Cherokees though. We've always been an agricultural people. Um, a lot of stories to that, a lot of stories that come with the agricultural part of it. And the, you know, the blowgun was always an integral part of, you know, being able to survive that way. So, um, it, like I said, it's a tool, but, um, you know, we use it for recreation.